Box Destroyers, what's happening? Hey, welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, my name's Brooks Conkle. I believe we shouldn't just think outside the box. We should completely destroy the box. So I make videos about online marketing, online tools, business, personal finance, and the adventure of life and business because I think that life and business is one giant adventure. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If this is your first time here, uh, you can hit the notification bell to get notified when videos come out. And uh, yeah, I look forward to connecting with you. But let me show you today. Let's talk about whitelisting email in Gmail. Um, I've had some emails that I have no idea why they're going to my spam folder, but not really sure. Yeah, that so two two parts here. One, you probably already know you have the social and promotions tab where there's emails that go in there. That's pretty easy if you want to see it in your primary folder. And I think it's cool that Gmail does this. But basically, you would just take it. Uh, click on it, hold on to it. Oops, I accidentally clicked into it. So you click it, you're going to hold on to it, and you basically just drag and drop it over into uh, over into this folder. I'm not actually going to do it, but you move the conversation. And then basically in the future, um, those conversations, those type of emails will go into the primary tab. So that's just the primary tab. Now, we're talking about spam here something ending up in spam that shouldn't end up in spam you have a couple of options one you can click the email or just tap it here and you can say hey this isn't spam so that's your first option your second option is to go into your settings and create a filter for example I have one guy that sends me emails um, and actually someone from his office it also uh, went into my spam so hit the settings go to your Gmail settings and you want to go to filters and blocked addresses here okay um, so already you can see I have where I have these other settings already set up here's another one that I had an issue um, obviously getting the email so you want to scroll down to the bottom and click create new filter now you obviously need the email address. So here's the email address. Here, here's something cool you can actually do. If you want everyone's email from that specific domain to come through, then all you have to do is put at and the extension, right? So if you wanted everyone from at gmail.com to come through, which I would not recommend, that's what you would do is just put that there. So I put that there. Um, that's all you have to do is say what it's from there it, you can put in any of this other stuff which is really cool if there's a specific subject or has words etc really neat filtering process that uh, Gmail has but in this example I'm just gonna basically say hey anyone from his office that emails me so I want to create a filter with that that's from that and what I want to do is never send it to spam never send it to spam so you create that filter once you do that that filter has been created and in the future anyone that emails me from here it will not go to spam so that's how you do that if you're having issues and you're not sure why something's going to spam that shouldn't be um, that's exactly what you can do and I'd love to hear from you guys if you have another little cool tip like that share it with the group share it down below in the comments and uh, yeah look forward to destroying the box with you guys take care